What's up, everybody? I have 53 hours in this game. So, Rocket League is one of these kind of three versus three RC soccer kind of things. So, if you're interested in games like FIFA, Madden 2016, this is not a game you should be playing. This game is definitely something that you would like to play with your friends because, honestly, if you're not good at this game, you're going to embarrass the shit out of yourself just like I've been doing for the past 53 hours. Look at that. Quality gameplay. High-octane skills. You see that? That's just lovely. That one guy is going to come around the corner and he's going to do his damnedest with my teammate Maple over there. Literally trying to help me out. And see, we... <laughs> God damn it. This is so bad. This is literally terrible. Look at that. 360 MLG flips. This is Rocket League. And I'll admit, it is a little bit of my dream to maybe one day play for the Cloud9 team. Because, you know, Cloud9 is best cloud. And by best cloud, I mean, you know, Final Fantasy VII stuff. You could honestly compare this type of gameplay to maybe like a 40-year-old man who's currently having difficulties with 30 ounces of alcohol trying to drive his excessively large Ford truck. All right, here's my moment of opportunity. Stop the go... Never mind. Yeah, let's just get a replay on that. Ugh, God damn it! Uh, so as I was saying, Rocket League is definitely something you want to play with your friends. I'm literally getting shown up by a guy who probably just bought this game yesterday. But that's totally fine, because I mean, I promise you, I only ever play this game whenever I'm drinking. Why would I play this game sober? I literally can't even play darts sober. What makes you think I can play a game that's essentially the same thing as Rugby meets Twisted Metal? God damn it! Come on, guy! Get it in the hole! Alright, we're gonna try a little strat. It's not working. Alright, boys. I got this. Don't worry about it. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm gonna stop the ball. I'm gonna stop! There we go. I fucking redeemed myself. Jesus Christ. It's a 4v2 scoreline. Fireworks in the distance. And I just totally stole that fucking goal from my friend. So, I had a little chat with that one guy. Um way back in the day whenever he was actually still on my friends list and he told me on several occasions that I really really need to learn how to drive for a while I, I didn't quite understand what he was talking about but then it kind of started to dawn on me like the more as I started to play this game I started to realize uh, I started to realize that I'm literally the equivalent of a drunk Asian man behind the wheel of a Honda Civic I'm unable to truly glide around in my automobile. I can't really fucking focus enough to hit the ball. My depth perception is literally the equivalent of, I suppose, a bat? I don't Ugh, yeah. Thanks. Thanks for the goal, my dog. Kept me from fucking embarrassing myself. See what we can do here. Get a little hop. Get a little bit in there. Boink. Perfect. Now I must say, if that ever happens to you in an actual game of Rocket League, you should probably uninstall because you just got scored on by the worst person to ever purchase this game in the history of Rocket League. 100%. And we're not even talking about like that World Series RC soccer game that came out before this. You'll have to excuse me, Rocket League fans. At the moment, I don't remember the name of that fucking game. 
and it actually kind of disappoints me, just like the fact that I couldn't help score that goal because I was busy getting a suntan. Kobe Bryant! Love it. Now, as you can see, it is a 10-2 scoreline, and it's not necessarily because I was being a team player. Oh, God. See, I wasn't really being a team player. I play out of position. I play way too fast, way too aggressive, because I don't have a concept of how slow or quickly I should be going. And I seem to be playing bumper cars with my teammates. Now, as most of you know, whenever I bring up bumper cars, you know that um, about 70% of the Rocket League community is about between the ages of 10 and 14. Don't ask me how I know this, but the reason why I bring it up is because for some reason, uh, these kids seem to think that as opposed to actually playing the game and trying to get the goal into the ball or the ball into the goal, I'm actually, oh my god, I can't speak! Oh, dear God. They play bumper cars because that's what matters. Wait a minute. Hold on. Something is... Something is amiss here. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. Give me this ball. Give me this. Give me this. Give it. Ugh. Give me the ball. Give me... Get out of here. Fuck you, Carl. You're a terrible character in The Walking Dead and everyone knows it. Get the hell out of here. Wait a minute. There it... Oh. This isn't my footage. This is my footage. Okay, yeah, see, that's what I thought. See, there was... A, for a second there, I was like, wow, I suddenly got really good at this game. And then I realized, oh, I'm spectating an enemy of mine. This is how things really work out. It's... Ugh, yeah. Not even with the power of Rick could I manage to actually play this game properly. Like, look... Wow, that was embarrassing for them, wasn't it? I'd rather not play bumper cars with you people. Can you stop? Can you stop? I'm an adult. I don't come here to play bumper cars. I came here to play FIFA. That was all me, 100%. Yeah, just to reaffirm that. Five-zero score line. See if I can come up in here. Oh wow! First I can't jump, and then I over jump it. So now I'm just gonna ride the wall like we're playing Lucio and Overwatch. Let's break it down. Thanks for the assist, Stinger. I appreciate you. You literally took the ball all the way down there for me. All right, boys. Reinhardt formation. Yeah! We like to call that play the Reinhardt simply because we all like to bundle together like we're the shield and we're impenetrable because we're all black. Ugh. Oh. Y'all didn't see anything. Y'all didn't see that. Come on. Set it up. No! God, I'm so terrible. Ugh. Oh, yeah. Just a little bit of a backflip to give him a false sense of security. All right. The ball is stolen from me yet again. See, this would be a perfect opportunity for me to, like, kick it into high gear and, like, start flying across the map like I normally do. But see, like I said before, I don't have a concept of how fast or slow I'm supposed to actually be going. So if I go too fast, I'll slide right the fuck past the ball. If I go just right, you'll see me do that, and I'll actually look like I'm good at this game. So we're reaching the end of this video here, and I kind of wanted to just talk a minute about how the channel's been doing. Um, I'm sure maybe a couple of you have noticed over the past couple of months we've been receiving some random subscribers, and it's 
Pretty nice. We're up to a whopping 31. Like that matters. But I know I've been gone for a while. It's been like six, seven months. And it's really just because I've been piled up with work. I've got clients from here to fucking Washington, D.C. in my fucking filing cabinet. I've got like a couple of bills that I still actually need to pay because, you know, adult life is actually a little bit struggling whenever you're trying to be a growing YouTube sensation and you still have a career. Believe me, it's 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 very annoying, but it's OK. We're picking things up uh, for a while. My old um, editing software suddenly crapped out because my computer is also literal crap. But now I'm recording everything with Shotcut. And for those of you who know what Shotcut is, I'm sure I can smell your vomit from here. I got a story that'll waggle your eyes. I got a burger and a thingy of fries. I think we disguise our lives when we speak, but we show it with what we eat. We defeat eternal demons with heaps of internal shitty meat.